Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. I didn't go live yesterday because I had a migraine, but we're here today. And we have a new wallpaper. <laughs> so, if you guys can tell, let me zoom in real quick. It is actually pumpkins. Wow. <laughs> oh, I, I was gonna make a stencil, but then I didn't. So I drew this all by hand. I remember I was working on it yesterday. I finished it in about three hours, so it didn't take me too long. Um, but they're pumpkins. They're not blobs, they are pumpkins. You can see the little stems on it, right? <laughs> or squash. I, aren't pumpkins technically squash? Isn't that how it works? Uh, so I did that yesterday. This will be up till the end of the month. I think I'm gonna do like a monthly wallpaper instead. That way it kind of matches the theme. I might add, I was gonna add like, should I add like jack-o'-lantern faces? I think that'd be cute, right? I'll think about it. I wasn't in that good, I wasn't in that much of a good mood yesterday, so I just wanted to like get it done for today. Um. I don't think I have any like anything that's happened. <laughs> Turkey wallpaper? No, I think we're gonna do like autumn leaves for next month. Cause that's fitting, cause like, I feel like November is like officially fall. Cause you know, global warming? Dude, some parts of Washington is supposed to get snow this week. Isn't that crazy? Like some parts of like northern Washington are gonna get snow this week. I'm not excited. Okay. Oh, before we get started, Mariah Carey, no. <laughs> no, I think that'd be a bit much. Um, if everybody could join us in following my art channel, it's peace in underscore art. If you're watching on desktop, you can follow here. Or if you're watching on mobile, you can click the link and follow. If you want to see artworks like this be painted live, go follow that second channel. I think the next stream on that channel will be on Friday. So yeah, go follow. It's free to follow. Wait, I forgot to... <laughs> Hold! I forgot to post on TikTok when I'm live. I'm gonna try something new. Where I post when I'm live. Like, I'm not gonna co-stream, because that's fucking cringe. But I'm just gonna, like, take a picture. Like, oh my god, I hate the front-facing camera. I hate this. No, why, did, why is it default to video? Okay. Big smile. People hate TikTok. <laughs> I thought you no, I'm not gonna take a picture of you guys. Then you're gonna see my monitor. Ew. Ew, that's gross. Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, you laugh, you lose. Today's gonna be a normal stream. I feel like Tuesdays are gonna be the normal- Oh, I have something to tell you guys for tomorrow's stream. You guys will see later. It's something very special that we've been working on for a long time that we're gonna do tomorrow. That we're gonna leak when we play Animal Crossing, if that's a hint. If that's it. Is my monitor crusty? No, it's- <laughs> uh, No, I never- Wait, actually- My, my keyboard's pretty clean, because, you know, I got a laptop, so, like, the keys aren't too deep. So it's pretty clean. Can I really hashtag so free with Prime? Yes, I know, it's easy. Just two clicks. Easy clap. Hi, welcome in, Titans. Hope you're doing well. Uh, no, my my monitor does have a few specs on it. Because, you know, when you talk and you get splatters. Cringe. Oh, wait, I forgot to set up a sub goal. I clipped that fuck. <laughs> well, thank you for clipping. Let's see, right? 109. Let's do 110 today. If I get one sub, that'd be pog you. There we go. Goal today is 110. Next long term sub goal is 120. Okay. Let's get to gaming because we are a gaming channel. Am I right, guys? I have a few things that I'd like to talk about. Granted, it's just like three little side stories, but Chad, you guys have to hold the conversation today, okay? Yeah. Your laptop shocked you, huh? 
Uh oh, how, like, legitimately, how did that happen? Okay, we're gonna, I think, I want to primarily focus on, like, online matches today, because I need to get used to the online interface, because you know how we're doing the... Wait, I forgot to talk about the tournament! <laughs> I forgot. Um, because we're doing the Mega Sports Mario Kart tournament on the final Sunday of this month. Well, we did do a tournament this Sunday. We did Mario Party with the viewers, and we now have two new VIP chatters. We have Hacker, Crystal won a game, but they still had VIP anyway. And now we have Cold Bobo. So we got two new VIPs. Let's go. If you want a chance at earning that badge, all you have to do is win or get top three in this month's Mario Kart tournament. So congrats to the winners from Sunday. Oh, from Static? Oh, okay, got it. I was like, I was like, did something short circuit or something? Okay, now it's gaming time. <laughs> oh wait, that sound is different. Listen. Oh, it's their taunt. I forgot. They say the taunt. Ignore me. Okay, I still need to practice these two priest chatters. We're gonna do predictions every single race, okay? As the usual. Okay, prediction is up. First race of the day, go Gamba. Do you think I'll get first? Granted, this is 200cc with computers. It's not often that I lose and throw, but sometimes it happens. You know, shit happens. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Emo only mode, <laughs> where only VIPs can chat normally does go kind of crazy. See, that's why I'm not going to give every single chatter VIP. Because then I would have no semblance of control over y'all. Dude, that line was horrible. I need to focus on, like, getting coins. Because I forget, the more coins you get, you subtly, you subtly go faster. What? How did that not target her? It's kind of unfair. Hey, yo, cut him off. Get fucked. Okay, that was not cool. I guess an eye for an eye, right? <laughs> Dude, my lines are great. I'm warming up, I'm warming up. Okay, why did the villager throw the red shell behind him? Kind of D-U-M. And why did that red shell not hit me? It should have targeted me. Easy! First race of the day, easy clap, no doubters. How it should be. I'm so scared of online though. I mean, like, I feel like I've gotten better. Because I think last week we got, like, two or three first place, right? I think this has to be my worst track of all the new DLCs. It's because the way it's designed is so flat, you can't really see ahead of you. And this turn too. Uh, it's way too sharp. I don't I haven't seen anybody do that turn like sufficiently ever. It is still a very fun track, mind you. It's just very difficult. Mushrooms are cracked on this map? Yes, you can easily go for the shortcuts. Okay, that turn was a bit better. Getting there. 
I feel like that turn would be good if you had like one of the smaller carts where you can make like the insanely tight turns. But I'm too scared to use a cart. This track is boring. I kind of agree with that sentiment. Controversial, but I feel like a lot of old Mario games are kind of boring. Wait, I think- Dude, I did it! I did it! I did it that time! No way. <laughs> Dude, I had it the whole race! I even nailed that turn on the last lap. <sighs> Too bad we didn't have any doubters. SMH man. Okay, should we start with like our first story of the day or our first anecdote because like I don't necessarily tell stories I just like tell like little tidbits that are more so opinions than anything so it's more like anecdotes should we just start off with something like medium or something light because cause I have several things that I want to talk about today <laughs> oh my god <laughs> today's stream for Alidity because I'll because she's been doing like 90 day reacts I've been watching a lot of more of her streams um, <laughs> she titled her stream, she, what was it, for like the first 30 minutes, because I was able to watch like the first bit of her stream before I started here. It was like, we need to talk about something, and I was, I was, it was so good, such a good title. Um, but it's nothing of that degree that we're going to talk about today. It just generally speaking, medium, okay. Hmm, oh my god. Yeah, that was not cool. I feel like, as with most people, it's kind of difficult to say sorry, right? Being able to admit your guilt and that you did something wrong. But I think the way you apologize is really important. Um, because if you say, I'm sorry that I did this action, I think that is very much the appropriate way to respond. But if you respond with, I'm sorry that your feelings got hurt, or I'm sorry... <laughs> then I don't think that's okay. Because you can't put the guilt on somebody else when you're apologizing, because then you're not apologizing, you're just projecting. And I think that's something very important for people to understand. Because when you apologize in that type of way, you're gonna make the other people, or the other person feel bad over time. And it's something that I've come to learn over time as well, that what you say to other people may not seem important to you, but it will stick with them. Anyway, that was the first- I didn't have enough time to, like, dive into it because the, the race finished. But... <laughs> that, that's something that I've been thinking about over the past few days. Because not saying that I've done, like, bad shit, but just coming to terms with... Like I said, the main point is what what you say to other people will stick with them. So TLDR, just be mindful of what you say and how you conduct yourself around others. <laughs> I was at the market for an hour and a half because I couldn't find what you were looking for. That is such a mood. I would go to the grocery store, not make a list, and leave not buying what I actually needed. And it's so freaking frustrating. And like, especially navigating through those like foreign stores. It's difficult to find what you're looking for. I mean, you can always ask an associate, but I feel like it's awkward asking an associate for help. Because you know that they're supposed to be doing other things, like stocking and managing the counter. So I feel bad asking for help.
I do think it's quite silly when people go to the grocery store just to buy one thing. Like, my dad, like, he'll go to the store just to buy milk. And then he'll come home with just milk. And it's like, you spent your time, gas money, just to buy milk? Like, you can go without milk for a day or two, right? <laughs> you could easily wait a bit of time. You know, buy a few things at least. Social anxiety for real. I know. I know. Like, I'm si simultaneously, like, the most anxious I've been in my whole goddamn life. But I'm also, like, the most self-confident I've ever felt. Because I'm at a point to where, like, I still get anxious over things, but I I'm able to, like, process things a little bit better to where I don't spiral as quickly. And I'm still able to, like, stand up for myself or speak to others even when I'm kind of, like, spiraling. And if anybody has concerns, obviously speak to a medical professional. You shouldn't take advice from people online for specific cases and instances. Oh my god. I cannot. <laughs> I can do. Wait, hold. Hold. Do the craziest dub in history. I went for with one thing, but level five. Oh, wait, I went for one thing, but level five. That's also a move where you overbuy. That's why whenever I go to the store to buy snacks, I do not get a cart. I either grab the little hand basket or I just don't get any basket. That way I can only buy what I can carry, right? And especially since I can't drive, I take the bus at home. So if I can't carry it on the walk home on the bus, then I shouldn't buy it. Said Meg as she gets blue shell. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like literally unfazed by blue shells. No nothing triggers me in the game anymore. The only thing that really bothers me is when people will like intentionally target you. Or if I get clapped by a green shell, because I'm like, that person is actually kind of good at the game. You know? <laughs> Don't go grocery shopping hungry. I know. I know. Whenever I do go grocery shopping, I, I tend to gravitate towards sweeter things. Like... It is not good for me to walk through the bakery section because I always go home with like the little cakes and I don't need it. <laughs> Hi, bye. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today, hun. Why are you what facing me? Huh? <laughs> Huh? Oh, we got 200 points in belief. Hey, yo. Any doubters, Mancha? Okay, I'm only playing as a baby character just to see how much faster I go, okay? Because I'm still thinking of what challenge we're gonna do for this tournament, but if we just do, like, no items again, then I need to be fast. I need to be, like, Sonic. Oh, dude, exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to target Toadette. You better win this. I'm gonna try my best. I've got- Oh, no. <laughs> Awkward. I've gotten a lot better at this track, mind you. Except for right there. That doesn't count. Because I, I think I finally nailed the last turn. Unfortunate. Oh, wait, there's points? Flying in the background. Did you guys see that? I've never been the type to get anxious whenever going on a plane or a train. I'm only scared when I go in a car. Because I feel like people who drive cars are not like specifically trained on how to drive a car. But I feel like people who like pilot airplanes or work in the trains, they know what they're doing, you know? Because they're, they're traveling mass amounts of people around. So hopefully they're adequately trained. 
I mean, I understand why people get scared of, like, plane rides. Because, like, obviously you can't control what's gonna happen when you're in the plane. Like, you're in full trust and control of the, the staff on board. But I enjoy it. It's kind of like going on the bus, where you can just, like, lay back, relax, knowing that somebody else is behind the wheel. I find it really relaxing. I still can't sleep on planes, though. It's very rare that I'm able to fall asleep. Driving is so stressful. I know. I need to practice driving, though. My goal is to get it by December now. Dude, I was watching back a VOD from July. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get my learner's permit soon. So I've had my learner's permit for like four months now and I haven't even practiced yet. So, Sash, did I get first? Of course I did. Good job, believers. Screw the doubters. Yeah, my goal is to learn how to drive by December. That's my goal. Hopefully I can do it. It's just like getting the courage to like actually practice is hard. <laughs> Hey, new prediction is up, Gamba. You get stressed because there's no quiet roads to practice. Damn, that's a bummer. I'm lucky to where in my area there's a few. I, I live in like a suburb, so like it's usually pretty like busy and populous. But there's a few areas where there's like nobody out and about. I live right by a parking lot, so. <laughs> You know, that'll be easy to practice in. Dude, if I had gotten that item box like half a second sooner. We wanna play his baby Bowser next round. I just realized there's not a lot of trick ramps on this track, are there? There's only the one up ahead. Hi, Kobobo, welcome in our new VIP. Fuck! Sorry, I, I went for the turn for the skip a bit too soon. That was my fault. I had a triple banana, but that green still, still snuck in. Okay, I've noticed that my stutter has gotten better, but in turn, I swapped out a stutter for a fumbling words. So, chatters, get used to it. I'm in first. Ayo! This is your favorite track in Wave 2? Really? Really? It's fine. I just wish there was more like trick jump sections. The turns are kind of fun to do. I like how windy it is. You're right. I guess I do kind of like this track. I like this track, but there are better. I agree. I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. Wait, Mushroom Gorge! That was my favorite from this wave. Okay, chatters, chatters. Should I play the new Mario Rabbids game? Would you guys watch that stream? Because I don't know if I like the game. I never played a Rabbids game because I felt like they were kind of cringe. Yeah, Mushroom Gorge is one of my top Wii maps as well. Dude, can they bring back Funky Kong, please? Hey, yo, okay, we're gonna go down the left path because anytime I go to the right, I mess up. There we go, much better. Is this a strategy game? Oh, you guys know I'm gonna be dog shit at that. I'm not good at planning ahead. It doesn't look fun to watch. I know. Because, like, the reason why I enjoy Mario Kart a lot is, like, even if I don't necessarily know the stream yet, if they're playing Mario Kart, I'll watch. Because I think Mario Kart is just really exciting to watch. Because similar to like Mario Party, you don't really know who's going to win to the very end. Unless they are very far ahead. Because like someone can easily get boomed. And then it's GG's. Oh my god. That was not fair. Not at all. I'm really- I'm actually like 
really bad. That one was not fair at all. I'm gonna go home cry, Dad. Oh my god, there's so many people? Good luck. Back in the lead where I belong. How am I in fourth? Holy! Oh my! <laughs> okay, that was a roller coaster at the end there. Okay, that was way too close for comfort. Did I get first? Yes, of course I did. You know what's funny? Now that Crystal, Kobobo, and Hacker I VIPs, because I have chat settings to where it'll highlight VIP badges in chat. Like, literally my whole chat box is just highlighted messages. <laughs> I mean, it, it just looks like that for me, because I like to have the way set up for my chat room. <laughs> Was it a mistake? I don't know yet. But what is your guys' favorite boba topping? Because the other day we got boba and they had like this pudding option. And it was basically like this pieces of like flan vanilla pudding at the bottom of the drink. And it was really good. I definitely have to try it again. I've, I've come over time to not like the tapioca pearls because I, I used to just swallow them all I wanted to chew them. So like I kind of really enjoyed the popping ones. I think the best flavor I ever had was blueberry. Oh, uh, my friend also got like this green apple flavor that was just extremely sour. But I think the popping pearls are really good. I also think it's kind of weird that they call it puffing when usually the add-ons go in the bottom of the drink. They don't float to the top. <laughs> Another- isn't it kind of weird? Whenever I worked at Subway, some customers would call the vegetables toppings instead of veggies. They, they'd be like, oh, for toppings, I want lettuce and tomato. Like, why why are you calling it toppings? That makes no sense. Is that like a regional slang or something? I don't get it. There's toppings? It means like the add-ons. So like, if you get the boba pearls or jellies, they just call it toppings. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, strawberry popping pearls are good. I think any popping pearls are good. Come on, second... Okay, I'm going like super fast with the baby character, which has kind of been a hindrance. Come on, get him! Ah! I fell off. Oh, I think those are just called tapioca pearls. I'm sorry, believers. I, I'm warming up. I think I, I think we'll do online maps now because I need to practice online. I, I do like the tapioca pearls that are small. Like, you know, normally they're like uh, this big. So you gotta get like the big ass straw, but I like when they're like half the size. <laughs> I remember I was with my friend and they've never tried boba. And I was like, hey, have some of my drink. And they took a sip and they almost choked on the boba because I thought they knew there'd be toppings inside. But it was good. It was a good prank. <laughs> okay, let's, let's do online. Let's see how I do today. I'm at 6,300 points. Wait, how many points do I have? Oh, fuck. I think I had 6,369. <laughs> Tee hee. Okay. Oh, I'm already queued up. Hey, yo. How are there only four people here? Is Mario Kart a dead game? <laughs> Why is that? Okay, let's get the prediction first place. Usually for online we do top three, but maybe I can actually get a dub here. If I get any first place during online, I give chat a sub. Nope, I said no promises, but of course I'll promise. A hundred and thousand? 
Come on. There's only four people racing, guys. My odds of getting first are one in four. A 25%. That guy didn't even get a boost. Oh, is this like 100cc? This is slow as fuck, dude. I think this is... Wait, is this mirror mode? This might be... Yes, this is mirror mode, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> it's mirror mode. Dude, is this baby mode? It's so goddamn slow. Oh shit, that was horrible. I had a chance to get the lead there. <laughs> Is there L streamers? I mean, if there's W streamers, there's gotta be L streamers, right? Am I an L streamer? Type 1? <laughs> get fucked. Hey yo. Karma? Yeah, I agree. The difference between 150 and 200 is crazy. It's actual insanity. Okay, everybody's ass. Or, it's probably since there's less people in the lobby, you're less likely to get hit with items. That's probably it. That's gotta be it. I, I agree. 200 CC is my new normal. Okay, the easiest dub of my life. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, one person only had a thousand points? Oh no. Okay, like I said, if I get a first, I'll give the sub. Oh no, my channel points. Imagine doubting. Fuck the downers, honestly. Let's freaking go. Thank you for believing, Coach. Real ones believe. Am I right, Chatters? Okay, if there's any non subs in chat, type in chat and I'll gift you a sub. Any non subs? Mod check. Okay, prediction is changing to top three now. Top three, okay? Okay, so the first non-sub I saw in chat today was bye. Oh! Frost is in! There we go! Enjoy your gifted sub bye! Have fun with the emotes fun. Oh! Oh, that could have saved me. We whacker what? Huh? Fuck, dude. It, GG's, it's over, it's over. Another mirror mode? What the fuck is going on? What is going on? X sub, imagine. Thank you for the lurk hacker, I appreciate it. Is there any way for me to catch up? Copium. Dude! See, I've memorized the lines for the normal track. The mirror mode is... It's over. It's over. Got all the way to fourth. Did we have... Yes, we had believers this round. I'm sorry. Sorry, bully boy. Hold. Hold. Oh, I'm an ex sub, but I got poor. Me too, Vi. I totally get it. I know for me, I used to have like five or six people I subscribed to, but now I only have two. And I feel bad because I miss having the emotes, I miss having the bench, so I totally get it. 
But I'm at a point where, like, I need to, like, spend less money, and if I can save, like, an extra 20 bucks, it, it won't do much, but it's still, like, something, you know? And chatters, don't ever feel bad if you can't subscribe or if you can't use the emails. That's totally fine. You know, life happens. You gotta prioritize your own security and safety, so... What? Dude, I was so close to top three. How did that even happen? I missed the boost. Wait, did we hit our sub goal? I'm sorry, believers. I got really close, surprisingly. I'm sorry, but I'll win the next one. I'll win the next one. Oh, yeah, we hit our daily sub goal, Lamau. Next goal, let's do 115. I mean, I hit my own sub goal. Lol. I have converted to a doubter? Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Believe in me a little bit. We need, we need, for every doubter, we need like one believer, okay? Because I feel like for every one believer I have, I got like five doubters. The ratio is not one to one yet. <clears throat> no, I, fuck. I saw DK jungle and I clicked the wrong button. Sag. I'm really sad. Animal Crossing, huh? Man, we got a lot of low level people. Low level people. We got three people with a thousand. Pizza to pray downfall? No! Guys, I'm correct at this course. And it's not mirror mode? In the back. Oh, there was one more thing I wanted to talk about. Don't make that the new chat meta, please. Guys, do not make that the copy pasta for today. No. Oh, first, easy dub. Peace, I too pray downfall. Windfall. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Oh, dude, I'm right on his ass. Okay, I've expressed this before, but the reason why I don't collab a lot with other streamers is I feel like it leads to artificial growth. Meaning, if you look at my chat room, we don't have a lot of streamers in my chat room. A lot of the people who actively chat or watch most of the streams, they're like legitimate viewers. They're just Twitch enjoyers who like the stream. And if you look at a lot of people who do collabs or host game shows, a lot of their chat room is other streamers. And if you think about it, that is not the sustainable way to grow. Because if all your audience is other streamers, they're not gonna have time to watch your content, they're gonna engage with you for not the right reasons. So I'm just really glad that I decided to start off this channel with the right path in the sense of, you know, I don't rely on collaborations to grow and also to have people find my content. I feel like I've been able to grow somewhat organically for the most part for the past few years. So I'm really glad. Well, I guess there are a few streamers that I engage with. I might do collabs in the future, but it's not going to be my main focus because I feel like people watch your stream for you. And if they don't watch your stream for you, then you need to fix that. <laughs> Streamer check, mod check, yeah. Do it a second? A second? And I, I'm saying this, like, not to, like, call out names or call out people. Like, everybody has their own way of conducting their stream. But I want people to watch because they like what I do. Not because they feel like they're obligated to interact with me. But dude, I got top two. Am I actually correct? Okay, new prediction is up, go Gamba. Oh no, are they playing together? Their Mii's look identical. 
Except for the hair. Oh no. <laughs> You are mobile and you didn't get to Gamba? Damn. Damn. Ooh, 200 CC! Dude, we got 200 CC finally! This one's gonna be good! Oh, see, those are bot accounts, look. New accounts. And yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I still don't know how Twitch works. <laughs> Dude, that is such a move. Um, if you have any questions, feel free and ask, because I usually have commands for most every Twitch mechanic. And you can also, like, just search stuff in the Google, or, like, in the Twitch help support section. I feel like Twitch has been around for years, so a lot of the UI is kind of complex, and it takes a while to, like, understand. Dude, I almost had that turn! I almost had it! This is the only stream you watch? Oh, well thank you. But you should watch other people. I feel like there's a lot of good creators on here, big and small. What's nice about streams is that everybody has a different vibe, you know? And every chat room is slightly different. I think one of the more fun Twitch mechanics has got to be predictions. I think they're the best part of the chat room. Wagon's the only good creator? I mean... I'm, I didn't say it, but you did. <laughs> I, I was thinking about it, and... I... Dude, what even happened there? What even happened? I want you guys to think you're your favorite small streamer. Not me. Not me. Do not include me in this example, okay? I want you to think, would that person be able to handle an audience of a thousand? Do you think they'd be able to produce good content if they had a budget? And if the answer is no, then they're probably not going to succeed. <laughs> because a lot of people want the fame or the success, but they don't realize you have to be self-sustainable in order to make good shit in order to do well. Fuck me, dude. I don't know if I lost or gained channel points. W. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Dude, imagine you guys spam W's whenever I lose. That'd be insane. We'd be a reverse W chat room. <laughs> That'd be such a stupid meta. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, new prediction is I'll go Gamba. I'm gonna win this one. I'm gonna win it. I would also like to say, since a lot of my active chatters aren't streamers, I feel like so much more validated for what I do because I feel like people are watching or chatting because they like the stream, not because they feel like they have to be here. So genuinely, Thank you to all the chatters. Thank you to all the lurkers. I really have fun spending time with everyone. Because yesterday I didn't feel good. I had, I had a crazy migraine. So I, I painted the wallpaper to like calm myself down. And I, I was supposed to stream yesterday. We're, we're going to do Cold to the Lamb this evening for a sub only stream. That's what we'll do instead. But I feel... I gotta think of a better word. Cause I don't wanna sound cringe. <laughs> it's weird cause I have this like subtle attachment to streaming. To where I'm at a point to where we have a few people who watch every stream. A few people who actively chat in most streams. Shoutouts to the chatters, shoutouts to the lurkers. Um, but I feel sad on the days where I don't stream. And I, it's, it's, I get this feeling of like loneliness almost. Cause streaming at this point, it feels like I'm hanging out with friends and it's really nice. Cause I don't have many friends IRL, I don't trust people easily. So just to know that people wanna hang out is a really nice feeling. <laughs> 
And streaming has been a really positive thing for me. The only real negative is that I feel like I need to work all the time, but you know, I can get over that. But I haven't had any real negative interactions with either the chat room or other streamers. I think it's because I don't allow those situations to happen. I moderate my chat room fairly well, I have a lot of bots enabled, so don't even try. And I don't collab often, so I, I don't like get caught up in the Twitch drama you see all the time. Like, I'm very much in my own little bubble, but it's a nice bubble. Hey, yo, third! Dude, is everybody who's playing just ass? <laughs> no, I'm in second, bro. Oh no! Is everybody throwing on purpose? Okay, never mind. <gasps> no! <laughs> I should just never talk again. I should just never speak. I should go mute. I should just go mute again. that on the nose cooks I think it's important to like be nice to everyone because you don't know what other people are going through sorry I'm still like upset how did that even happen guys I'm faking I'm not crying I'm not I'm throwing for content obviously these are fake I almost said real these are fake tears <laughs> Go gamble. Dude, how'd that even happen? <laughs> yes, DK Jungle. My best map. Any doubters? <laughs> Megan cries. <laughs> Streamer breaks down live on stream. Not clickbait. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, cool bobo. Um, in the last year, I think it was Sunday? I saw you made clips of VODs, so thank you, hon. Shout out to any chatters who clipped the stream, honestly. You guys are the real ones. <laughs> hey, yo, I feel like everybody's ass, because usually I'm not able to get ahead this quickly. Wait, see, it's- we're playing at the normal time, it's 12pm on a Tuesday. Don't say that again, say what? What did I say? <laughs> did I say something bad? He said to gasp! <laughs> wait, wait, I need to think back. I have the memory of a goldfish. I can't even remember what I did like an hour ago. Oh wait, I exercised in the morning. Since there's a lot of smog out, I can't necessarily bike every day because I'm in Washington. You know, one of the colder states, but we still get wildfires because, you know, um, global warming. So there's been a lot of smog in the air, so I haven't been able to, like, go on walks or go for bike rides. So I've been exercising with my uh, Ring Fit Adventure game. I've done it every day for the past few days, and I am feeling good. Like, I do feel a bit exhausted, a bit tired, but I am feeling pretty good. I have not lost any weight because I've only been doing it for five days. <laughs> but... Not that my goal is to lose weight, but you know, I'd love to be back to what I weighed before. Ring Fit stream when? I don't think I can ever stream that game because, um, um, you know, 
I don't know about y'all, but you know when you exercise, you get like hot and itchy? Whenever that happens, I can't, like, I can't wear like a shirt and shorts, like, or no, I wear shorts when I exercise, it's obvi. But I usually wear like a sports bra, so <laughs> I can, <laughs> like, you're allowed to show tell me on stream, but I don't, I ain't there yet, I ain't comfortable. Makes sense, yeah. I mean, like, I thought about doing, like, you ever see those TikTok lives where it's like somebody on an, on an elliptical and it's just like an ass POV? Yes! It's just like an ass POV, like, you know, they're farming. Like, I wanted to do a stream like that as a gag because I think it'd be funny. But then I thought back to, like, all the monologues I've talked about, like, not itemizing creators. And I'm like, that probably doesn't align with what I've said. So even if, if it's for a joke, it's probably not good to make jokes about that, so. Working on a stream seems odd. I mean, I think it'd be fun. I think, like, a one-off Ring Fit stream would be kind of fun. Dude, I got first. Is anybody gonna congratulate me on the first? Guys. Guys. Am I actually correct? <laughs> Sorry, Vi, I just saw your message. Last time you said everyone was bad to get me being 12. Fuck, I know, I know. I should just never- Look at me! I have a crown! Peace I 2 crown. We should make that an emote. Peace I 2 crown. Why you put Peace I 2 L? I fucking won. Do we need to make a Peace I 2 W? W? <clears throat> what would that even look like, though? What emote would we take out? Would we swap out? Or I have one more sub emote slot, I think. Because I feel like you guys all use the other follower emotes fairly often. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll make Peace Eye 2 W a sub emote. I'll do that tonight. We can pose for it today. <clears throat> okay, I have to try hard in this map because this is one of my weaker ones. You don't like Peace I 2 stop? Really? I think it's funny. Oh, oh, I agree. Nobody uses it, but I think it's good. Because he'd rather punch than stop. Uh, you're right. No, I don't think anybody uses Peace I 2 stop. The only time that people use it is when I do, like, the $5 subscribe promo. Fuck. I, I, I move my hand for one second for a gag. And I'm in the last. I think it's really sad when streamers get big enough to a point where they just get stream sniped all the time. I think it's genuinely, like, upsetting. It's not fun to watch. It's not fun, not fun for the streamer. Like, this is why I don't play with the viewers all the time. This is why I don't give out my Nintendo friend code. Because it's always gonna get leaked. I think it'd be so sad to play in a lot where people are, like, either trying to, like, make you lose or just, like, fucking around. It just makes everything unenjoyable. I know people think it's funny to troll, but, like, if you're ruining the fun... You're not being a good member of the community. Hey, yellow bullet in six! Maybe get rid of Peace I 2 Smile? No! Peace I 2 Smile birth Peace I 2 Evil Smile. So, no, that one is staying. And we need to have the non subs be able to smile, right? They gotta be able to smile. Fuck! Wait, guys, two first in a row, no shot, no fucking way. Guys, did I not clickbait? My title today, my title is debatably the best MK gameplay on Twitch. Am I? Is that not a lie? Is that real? Dude, I've gotten three first, two in a row in online. Granted, my score is only 6,000.
We didn't have any gamblers this time? Fuck you all. Chatters, you gotta gamba more. Come on. Talking about gambing. Um, <laughs> Chatters, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. If you want to avoid those ads, all you gotta do is subscribe. $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, you can. <laughs> Thank you, Vi. <laughs> Thank you. See, I told you, Chatters, use it when I put my hand up. Or you can sub for free by linking your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. Click the subscribe button, see if you have a Prime available. Okay, anyway, after the ad, we're gonna play more Marker. Maybe I can get more dubs, because it's actually insane how I've gotten three firsts. Perfect, perfection run? No, complete, no, not complete. Anyway, we got some water to get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Dude, actually insane. Am I not the best Mario Kart player to ever live? Debatable. TikTok for a second just to check my notes. <laughs> and earlier at the start of stream, in like the first couple minutes, I was like, oh, I'm gonna post whenever I go live, like take a picture, like when I'm on screen. And <laughs> I don't think Crystal's chat. <laughs> but I said when I was seeing the picture, I was like, why do TikTok stories default to video? And I, because I, I did it on stream, right? <laughs> and Crystal commented on the story. She said, why does it, or what, they said, why does it default to video? Quoting me? It was so, oh my god, this is so stupid. Sorry, you guys don't get it, you don't get it. If you weren't there, you don't get it. Guys, am I fucking good at Mario Kart? Or are they just queuing me up with the plebs? Why am I so confused? Uh, look at my TikTok story, you'll get it. Exclamation TikTok in chat. Ooh, dodged. <laughs> they are noobs. I know! Okay, there- Ooh, even second is a bit away from me. I was there and I don't get it? Well... Wait! Wait! That was actually really good. Get away from me. Don't take this dub away. Oh my god, stop! Guys, please. I really want- I really want another first. Did I go crazy? Three firsts in a row? Am I actually gonna Mario Kart? You guys can't say I'm bad at the game anymore, right? Okay, double- there's blue shell approaching. Wait, I might have enough time. What is going on? Are the lobbies just really bad or am I really good? I I am in shock. Three firsts in a row? Okay, I am being queued up with- Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dude, the second person who had the highest amount of points had 3,000. I'm gonna DQ and then re queue because yeah, it might actually be bots. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. It usually doesn't queue you up with people that low. Imagine doubting.
Are you on your sister's account again? <laughs> no, no. No. Why would I do that? Never, never. Obviously, that's my me. Can't you see? PSA2 gamer? Exactly. I'm actually a pro. Chatter, should I go pro? Type 1? Oh, that guy is 11,000. Okay, this is a better matchup. This is hopefully more my speed. You could be twins? No. <laughs> you guys know that I have a younger sister. We're not twins. Dude, What? imagine I had a secret twin. Oh, see, that guy went for the coins first. I think they're cracked. That was unfortunate. Oh my god, just let me go. I wonder if twins make identical me's? I think so. Oh my god. Perfect. What even hit me? Okay, I think this round is gonna humble me a little bit. Oh! Oh, TD, you, sh you gotta eat. You shouldn't go that long without eating them. Oh my fucking god. Sorry, I got no items. <laughs> Someone hit the ramp right as I was about to ride on it. Hi Mac, welcome in. You missed it, I got like three first place. Kinda crazy, kinda cracked. It's not looking like it'll happen again, though. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> Lol, 11th. Shut up. And I missed those two item boxes. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. Can you get last? No. I was close to getting that, though. She's lying. Don't believe her, Mac. Watch the VOD. Chatters, watch the VOD. I promise you I'm good at this game. It's the track. It's the track that I'm bad at, okay? I'm bad at dodging cars. In-game and IRL. Hmm. Sad, G. <clears throat> blame the game. Obviously, you always gotta blame the game. Wait, there's two iron men in this lobby. <laughs> oh, wait, I see them. Wait, Japan and Taiwan? Huh? Oh, Pride, welcome in. I don't know if I said hi earlier, but welcome in, Pride. <laughs> yes, Cold of the Lamb will be sub only later tonight. Oh my freaking god. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, bat chest, New York. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, I knew I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna be. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Whenever I watch stream I want to snack. See that's kinda how I am too. Whenever I watch like YouTube videos or the streams, I'm always like snacking on something. But what I did recently was on TikTok, you know how you can block words or hashtags? I blocked the hashtag food because I noticed whenever like I open TikTok randomly, I get hungry and then I see a food video and then I eat a snack. And I've had the term blocked for about a week. So I don't see any more food videos on my For You page. Because I used to like look at recipes and like cake decorating videos. Because like those videos are fun to watch. But I noticed that I was snacking too much. Ever since I blocked the hashtag food on my account, I haven't had the desire to snack. Isn't that kind of crazy? I mean, it's a good thing. Oh my god, dude, I had it. I literally had it. I'm glad to hear that you ate last night, Potato. I'm kind of like that, too. I'm like, when was my last meal? <laughs> Everyone getting easily influenced? I know. I know. Because I, I noticed, the reason why I blocked the term is because like, I noticed when I go on TikTok more, I'd get more hungry. Because I would see food. Which, I, I don't know if that's like a toxic way to see it, but... Because, like, I still eat my three meals. I don't skip meals. But I was just, like, snacking too much. So I was eating, like, too many calories every day. Guys, I promise I'm good at the game. The title is totally real and true. This is the best Mario Kart gameplay in the world. Which is the world of Twitch. <laughs> I've been able to watch movies again because my attention span isn't cooked. I feel that. I think that's why I can... In order for... If it's a movie in a theater, then I can sit down and watch the whole thing. But if it's, like, watching, like, a movie, like, they're streaming or something, it's... It can easily pause and do something else, right? Or, like, have your phone out and, like, scroll and do something else. I imagine myself eating the food I see in TikTok. I know! I know, that was my problem! Wait, is, two, is this 200 CC? This might be 200. There's that guy with 11,000 points. I love how Mac is like, you know, I I deleted my social media. I'm not using TikTok, but they're always asking like, hey, what's, what's going on on TikTok? I still want to know. Guys, I'm in first. Holy. <laughs> As you can see, it's like checking up on your old girlfriend or boyfriend on Facebook to see what they're doing, you know? <laughs> you keep seeing old Peace in 17 TikToks? Really? That's kind of good. I'm glad that Algo's still pushing my older clips. <laughs> I'm like, did she post three times today? No. It's not open that I post three times. The only time I posted three times is when I did my normal, like... Oh, fuck, I got my items. Is I do, like, my normal Mario Kart, normal Animal Crossing, and then... I had, like, a really good Fall Guys clip. It was my... I got my first ever crown on stream. Crazy clip. And I posted that at, like, 7 p.m. Like, after the stream. Game lines go kind of crazy. I mean, my TikTok is usually just, like, stream clips and, like, streamer news, so, like... My feed isn't too crazy. Ooh, is somebody gonna get clapped? What is that? What is that, a third? Hmm. Pretty good.
It's not a first. Shut up. The prediction is for top three. And we had no believers. Y'all should be glad I got third. Low-key miss Fall Guys streams. Yeah, I kind of do too. You might be able to do it occasionally, but I don't want to make it the weekly game. Because I got tired of it. And also, like, I explained this before. But Fall Guys is the type of game to where you can't necessarily focus on, like, your commentary or, like, your engagement with chat unless you're proficient at the game. So, like, you know how Mario Kart is a game where you have to, like, look at the screen the whole time. You have to be, like, fully engaged when you're playing. But I got... To, I've been playing Mario Kart on stream for a year. A year. So, like, I'm able to, like... I know my lines. I know how to use items for the most part. So... I can, like, glance away for a second or two when I'm playing. But if you're not good at the game, you can't do that. That's why with, like, a lot of more fast-paced stream games, the chat room is not active. So. Um. That's why I didn't do, like, story times or, like, bantering with the chat as much during Fall Guys. Because I didn't have that skill set. And also... When you don't commentate or, like, talk to yourself, like, chat doesn't chat either. Because, basically, whenever we did Fall Guys, chat room was basically dead. Which is fine. Like, you can't expect people to, like, be active, but... For my type of stream environment, I want people to be chatting almost all the time. That's my goal. I'm not saying for people to chat just because you feel like you need to. Like, you should chat because you want to be engaged, or you want to say something funny or add to the conversation. Hey, yo, third. Once I'm done with Eastward, is it going to be a new game or Fall Guys? It's going to be a new game. Because I think... Because with Mario Kart, it's repetitive gameplay, but it's slightly more faster paced and it's still exciting to watch. And, like I, like I just explained, I'm proficient enough to where, like, I can still, like, be really at- Fuck! Where I can still like engage with the chat room proficiently, um, and then Mario games, people like watching me bad. At, people like watching me be bad at the game, so people like that. And I think I want to have a slot for story games because I think it's fun to play games full through with the chat room. That we people kind of get to experience it with me. So once we beat Eastward. It'll just be, like, another story game. Dude, I fell off! I don't chat a lot with Eastward because you're just really into it? Yeah. I, I get that. Because, like, Eastward is not a game where I feel like you're meant to engage. Like, you're meant to just, like, experience it. But not everybody likes that type of stream environment. Because... Concerning my current viewer count, okay, not today, but just in general, my chat room is really active. Like, I was watching- oh my god, I was watching a stream the other day, and they had like 10 to 15 viewers, like, who came sporadically, and they asked their chat room a question. They were like, hey, should I do this or this, type 1 or type 2? M mind you, they had like 15 viewers. Oh, I was the only person who typed 1 in chat. And that just shows that a lot of their viewer base at that time were just lurking, which is fine. But this was also a stream where the only active chatters were streamers. Like we talked about earlier, when your whole core viewer base is people who are there to network rather than enjoy your content, then they're not going to be engaged. And that was just a prime example of why that model of streaming and growth does not work because you're not cultivating an audience that genuinely likes you or wants to talk to you so yeah shout outs to my chatters <laughs> that's so sad yeah i know but people don't realize it until it happens because with that kind of like collaboration almost follow for follow mindset you know they gain followers quickly they feel like they have a lot of networking. They feel like they have a lot of friends. But they're not really friends. 
Like, I haven't experienced any of that, because I don't collab often. I don't, I don't, I chose to not go down that path. And I'm glad I didn't. Because a lot of my core audience now is people who like the stream. Like, we don't have a lot of streamers. I think the only streamer who watches regularly is Titans. But they don't stream often. <laughs> I think everybody else is just like a Twitch head. Yeah, I saved the day right there. I felt bad because, like I said, I was the only one who typed in chat when they asked for ones. And, like, honestly, oh, I nailed that turn. There are times where you farm the tower, right? Where you're like, oh my god, give me some hearts or give me some peace I two elves. But asking for ones is, like, the easiest thing to ask for. And to think that nobody besides me typed is just a big sketch. Anyway. <laughs> It was just awkward. Also, I think it's fucking cringe when your whole chat room is just chatters asking like, Oh, how was your day? Or how have you been? And that's just where the chat conversation ends. I think it's fucking boring as hell. Like, it's fine if you just come into a chat room and be like, Oh, hi, how are you today, streamer? Like, that's fine and dandy. But if, if your chat messages end there, it's just kind of sad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I will never ask that again. <laughs> no, Mac, you only ask me that when we're in, like, the offline chat, so you're fine. You're fine. I don't know. It, it just feels, like, sus to me. Because, like, if I'm in a chat room, I'm there, like, adding to the, whatever the streamer's talking about. Like, if they're talking about cupcakes, I'll talk about cake or something. Or, like, I'm there to make jokes. Like, I'm not a parasocial viewer. <laughs> like... Because I feel like people don't realize the chat room is there to, like, give the streamer to, like, have some sort of, like, back and forth. But it's also to, like, entertain the other viewers in the chat room. Fuck me, dude. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Fifth. That's sad. Because, mm, there's, like, certain chat dynamics you can have to where you can, um, like, encourage your chat room to chat more. But it does take time to have that dynamic. How are you is one of my least favorite conversation starters? I know, it's, it's so dumb. It's, it's so basic. And like you said, people just say good, and it's like, it just ends there kind of silly if you ask me that's why whenever i welcome in chatters i say welcome in so and so hope you're doing well um because it doesn't like make the person feel like they have to respond because i know some people like to chat more some people like to lurk some people like to just say hi and that's totally fine it's just I think the way I go back and forth with chat, it kind of encourages people to give their input as well. In not a disingenuous manner. Any believers, guys? We need some believers. Come on. I was gonna say, I just got a third, but I realized in the previous race I got third. I got fifth there. What's the sub goal at your mom? Um, sub goal's at... Oh, I fell off! I got ratioed! <laughs> well, we had 110 subs! <laughs> Low mal. Dude, this is the third time we played this track. Yeah, we were at 110, but you guys realize that subs only last a month. So, the one day that Kobobo gifted, like, 15, because they were crazy. Crazy nice. We're gonna lose 15 subs. <laughs> Which is fine, because sub- Oh, dude, that was a perfect skip! Because subs only last a month, so... Because I don't have many reoccurring subs. I have a good handful. 
But a lot of my sub count is gifted, which is fine. Which is very Pago and cool. Pog you, not Pago. We heckin' love the- Parasocially love the Oilers! Oopsie, I almost slipped up. Yeah, but a lot of my sub count is gifted, which is nice. Shoutouts to the gifters. No, I do not love chatters. No, I've been in this lobby with Cooper for a while now. Have I defeated Cooper yet? Oh my god, they're the perfect lines? Fuck off, Cooper. I have two bananas, I have full protection. Dude, if I beat this Cooper guy, they have 11,000 points. They're gonna go home cry dad. I was gonna say, I think I'm set as long as I don't get a blue shell, but there's a blue shell on that right now. Oh, I thought I could get I get so many comments on TikTok where people are like, oh my god. Well, you have a blue shell approaching, why don't you stop and wait for the other people? I agree, cool, blah, blah, blah. I think saying I love you is cringe if you don't mean it. That's why I don't say it often. I think it's cringe when people say, I love my community. I love my followers. Or I love my chat room. It's fucking cringe as all hell. Like, um, I literally just edited a TikTok clip where I talked about the same thing. It's from July. It's probably going to be posted next month. Um, you guys make my day- Shut up, I say that, Max. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> um, but I agree. I feel like the terms- Or the term or phrase, I love you, has such, like, heavy meaning to it. And I agree, it is, like, used casually. But... I think when you use the word love, people- garner an attachment to you, and I feel like it's an unhealthy attachment. I love you and love you are different to me. I agree. I think love you is kind of more casual. Like, when you say, like, like passively saying bye to your friend, like, oh, love you. I think it's kind of like that. I agree. There's a difference. I've had a few friends not get mad, but ca get kind of like upset or bothered when I didn't say I love you back. Because I've explained this before, but it's not a phrase that I use lightly. Like our family, we never used the phrase I love you often, so I didn't hear it often, I didn't use it often. But I feel like I'm not going to say it unless I genuinely feel it. Like, I understand there's a difference between the phrase, I love you and love ya. But to me, they're, they're still, like, similar enough to where they have the same amount of weight to it. And I don't want to say something unless I genuinely mean it. It's meant to be special, I agree. And maybe that's just how I'm raised. I'm the type of person to where, like, I... <laughs> I, like hyper fixate on like words connotations and meaning i take things way too seriously sometimes but that's just how i am i'm not gonna say anything that i don't mean or that i don't genuinely feel i think it's weird when people who get in relationships say i love you after a month i think that's crazy i think that's like because i know i didn't say I love you for a while whenever when I had my first relationship. I think if somebody says I love you like before you're dating or within a month, I think that's a red flag. I 
I say me too because I don't want to be mean. I get that. Like, I can understand, like, feeling like you have to say it back because you don't want to hurt their feelings. But to me, I think leading somebody on is worse. Even if it's like a friend. I don't know. I think it's because people know that I'm very, like, abrasive and blunt at times, so... I hope people don't get upset at me. But... <laughs> it's a huge red flag. It probably means less overlap. I agree. I agree. You've had people see it after a week. What the fuck? Okay, red flag. <laughs> Imagine someone said I love you and you said low mouse safe. Dude, that'd be a good bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Saitama? I feel like I'm not winning anymore and I'm getting very sad. <laughs> he said it to someone and hit them with a Dude, I would do that. I would do that. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You know when people get married, they say their vows. And they're like, I'll love you in sick and thin. Even if you get- Wait. Wait, no, fuck. I messed up the joke. Reset, reroll. Imagine they're like, I'll love you forever in sick and thin unless you get cancer. Dude, like, fucked up but true. <laughs> Holy. I can't. <laughs> Dude, why is this map again? I guess we can practice this skip. Why is nobody laughing? Was the joke too real? Was it too real? <laughs> Hitting somebody with an unlaughed after a your vow speech would go crazy, I know. But dude, imagine the drama. I mean it They laugh like in a live <laughs> Dude, that was way too close. I made it. Insane clutch right there. Guys, I'm in second. Holy. Get boomed. Oh, I knew they were going to use the moon box, but now they have no protection from evolution. Ha <laughs> ha. Where's the piece I do a laugh track? No. <gasps> Dude, they fucked up that line? Dude, Cooper's in the lead again? Can I defeat Cooper this time? Come on. <laughs> Dude, that was so mean! That was so mean! That was genuinely... A very mean thing to do. People who throw green shells behind them are like e genuinely evil. I don't like them at all. Wait. Hold. Get fucked. Get fucked again. Oh, I have no items. This is actually horrible. Dude, everybody got boomed at the end there. Oh. No, that wasn't Cooper. It was the guy behind Cooper. Dude, I absolutely got- <laughs> It was Louis. Or Louise. At least Cooper didn't get fucking first. Screw that guy. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I almost put top three on the prediction, Lamau. <laughs> Toad Circuit, easy course. Okay, let's fix our sub goal because I fell off pretty hard.
What do you guys think about people who have daily sub goals on screen? I'm indifferent about it. Because <laughs> I think it's important to be transparent about your income. Cooper's probably like, nine. shut up! Of course kids are cracked. Of course they're cracked, because they have the reflexes of a child. I don't know. I, I think it's important to be transparent about, like, how much money you're making. I don't know. Especially when it's, like, donations. I don't know. That's why we have, like, the sub goal on screen. And that's why I have the leaderboard on screen, usually. I get sad if I see a zero out of five daily sub goal. Yeah, imagine. Imagine. That's another reason why. Because I would feel bad as a streamer. Because I'm sure y'all have seen posts about, but like the Twitch analytics, like the stream summary, it tells you like how many new followers you got, how many average viewers that type of jazz. But let's say for example, one stream I get five subs and the next stream I get zero. Next to the zero, it has like a red down arrow. So it's kind of like just another reminder like, oh. Your numbers were down this short. You need to fix that. I don't know. I mean, I don't care about donations. I'm not at a point to where, like, it's sustainable income, so I don't need to be stressed about it. I like long-term sub goals. Yeah. I like it because you feel like you're working towards something. I'm in fourth. I might have a chance. Okay, I wanted to get rid of the banana so I could get something better. Ooh, I got a red shell. Of course, it got boomed. Thoughts on wearing crystals? Um, as long as it's not a J.O. crystal, I think they're fine. <laughs> Wait, second! green shells went back and hit me. <laughs> I got greedy. Hi, Luigi. Welcome in. <laughs> I just fucked up with them, <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Sorry. I can't. Lomo. I know I used to be into collecting crystals when I was younger. <clears throat> oh my god, I can't. I can't. I can't. Chatters, you know I'm a DJ and I just don't show it on stream. Oh, that's kind of cute, man. Don't look it up if you're curious. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Any believers, guys? We need some believers. Yeah, um, if you missed it, you missed it. If you want to see what I said, just go back in the VOD. Easy clap. We need VOD these guys. I can whisper. No, don't! Don't! Get fucked, Cooper! My arch nemesis. I do not advocate <laughs> for what is happening right now. It was just a silly little joke. Dude, how'd that even hit me? Of 
course, Cooper took my item box. I hope they get a silly little coin. Yup, of course they did. Get fucked, Cooper. Why am I being so mean to this guy? They're just blind trying to play whisper. No, Chatter, stop. Stop. Guys. Let me make jokes. How did I not see that happening? Get fucked it. How did I get boomed? Legitimately, how did I get boomed there? No, actually, actually, how? Como? No me entiendo. Stay away from me. Bad touch. Fifth. Now the guy's got less than a thousand points. Lamau. Let's see. We probably got time for a handful more games. He chatters. I'm gonna go make a phone streamer for a second, okay? If you know, you know exactly. Exactly. No, Mac, what if you met me and I made that joke? Wouldn't it be kind of funny? Wouldn't it be a little bit funny? This is wild. <laughs> Fuck! You guys distracted me! <laughs> I should just never have made that joke. I should just never make jokes again. Jokes apparently aren't allowed. Good skip? Oh, this is mirror mode. I freaking hate mirror mode. No furs, no jokes. Boombox? Easy. You know what's funny? I know it's funny, but you guys are ruining it. You guys are ruining my fun. You're just supposed to type Keck W and move on. <laughs> That's how you know you know jokes work, okay? Do Third? What happened to the Rancho? We deserve nice things. I guess. Wait, Chatters, type one if you think I'm funny. <laughs> I better see some ones. She <laughs> you guys are so stupid. I st just don't talk about the joke I made anymore. Just don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Is this gonna be my cancelable offense? I got no items. Yeah, you might have been the only gambler that time. I mean, usually predictions pop off for like the first hour of stream, and then usually after an hour, people like chill and they don't like gambling because they either lost or won big. So, fuck! You've had a good run yet. It only took a year and two months for me to be canceled. I think it's kind of wild how people will equate actual crimes to being cancelled, quote unquote. I also hate how people online minimize actual, like, horrible events. Because to me, cancellation in, like, the online sense just means, like, you're getting criticism. 
for your actions, which I think is totally fair. Like, I don't think you necessarily need to call out people all the time, but if they're doing, like, actual crimes or bad things, then I feel like they deserve to be exposed. I know, but if you say something wrong, then in the grand scheme isn't that bad, you get cooked. Yeah, it's just like... I think you- Wait, I got- I got fucking second, I almost- Good job, believers. Um... What was I gonna say? I forgot. Oh yeah, you have to know your audience. I feel like a lot of lefties get cancelled. But it's just people don't like leftist policies. Simple, but true. Controversial, but true. Cooper beat you? I know! But they have 11... They're in a lobby of people with less than 6,000 points, and they have 11,000. Let's go, Cooper? No. It's supposed to be, let's go, Megan. Not, let's go, Cooper. Guys. Look at Cooper with their smug little grin. Guys, stop. Stop. Yeah, I'm the second person. I'm the second highest rating. The second highest rating in this lobby. Any gamblers? I mean, gambaers? <laughs> you know what I think is funny? I mean, I think it's a very wholesome act. <laughs> Cooper joins stream. No! I don't want stream snipers. Did you imagine? <laughs> I think I got stream sniped one time in Mario Kart. I think Vengeance, because I was doing worldwide lobbies, I think Vengeance got into my lobby. And I didn't realize it was Vengeance in the lobby. <laughs> but I remember I was racing and there was this guy who was just like hopping. Like, they would be ahead of me, they would pause, and then they'd stop and pop next to me. And now, during the stream, I was like, what the fuck is this guy doing? But then, I watched back the VOD, like, months later, and then I was like, oh my god, that's Vengeance! Because <laughs> their username was the same. And chat, as we don't know, Vengeance is, they're from the UK, so they don't watch stream often. But they usually, um, will participate in the Mario Kart tournaments I do. But, <laughs> it was funny, because I didn't know it was them. Obviously, don't snipe me because I know not to give you guys attention anymore. But it's still funny. Peace in underscore 17 TT. I think people who put TTVs in their name want to get stream time. Controversial but true. Like, they want people to know that they're a streamer, whether big or small, and they want people to click on their stream. I think it's cringe. I think it's cringe. You'll never see me put a TV in my name. Because I don't want to get stream sniped. Because just imagine the anxiety you feel knowing that people know your user and then they can look you up. Like, let's say I'm playing Mario Kart and I snipe someone with a red shell and then they get mad. And they come into my chat room and say mean things. I don't want that to happen at all. I think it's funny. Even funnier. When people have part of their chat rules, like, don't stream snipe or don't come into my lobby or come into my stream if you find me in, like, a lobby or something. But then they have TTV in their username. It's like, bro, how many things could I Are you D-U-M? Are you D-U-M? Yeah, all the sweat show up for the Mario Kart tournament streams, and that's totally fine. It's A-OK. -okay. I mean, you're walking after him. Hey, yo, Fidblade! TTV piece and art. Okay, I, I was gonna start off this race saying, I think it's really funny how we have the gifters ask are there any non-subs i think it's really funny because in other chats you see do you think most things are cringe yeah <laughs> yeah i do <laughs> uh, uh anyways anyways you see like a lot of people in chats being like oh any gifters like begging for a gifted sub when my chat room is just like hey does anybody want a sub i think it's funny i mean it's because like since our chat room is smaller Usually, people who are active all the time will subscribe or get a gifted or use their channel points, and I, I gift them a sub. So. 
And then in here, no one will say anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you guys gift people subs right away, which is cool. Shout outs to the gifters. Mod check, any lurkers want a sub? We got oilers now. Chatters, go Gamba. <clears throat> yeah, I know when I'm watching a stream, instead of bulk gifting subs, unless I want to do it for attention, because, you know, dropping five subs is kind of like a flex, right? Um, I usually will gift subs to individual viewers. Because usually if somebody's chatting, they're more likely to watch the stream anyway. So why not give them free emotes? Why not give them ad-free viewing? Because it's true that if someone is subscribed, they're going to watch the stream more. I like keeping people oiled that I like. So Mac is basically saying if Mac doesn't gift you a sub, then they hate you. Controversial but true. Oh my god, fuck me, dude. My red shell got blasted by the pinball. Not fair, not at all. Oh, hey yo. That was a good line. Dude, what was Cooper doing? Wait, Cooper's in fifth place. Get fucked. Yeah, what's surprising is in your Twitch analytics, you can see, like, there's a way to download, like, information to see, like, which subs are reoccurring, which people are primers, which people are gifters, or people who received a gifted. And a lot of my people who are reoccurring subs, they're lurkers. Like, a lot of my active chatters are people who received a gifted sub. And me... Because I think the beauty of somebody using a regular tier 1 is that since it's a monthly recurring subscription, people usually forget about it. <laughs> like, if you're subscribed to probably like 5 or 10 people on Twitch, like, you just passively forget about it. And then you got a tier 1 for life. I gift you a tier 1 sub, but you are a sub potato. Okay, I'll do that after that race. Yeah, it's probably gonna- any non-subs want to receive my gifted sub? Otherwise, it's gonna go to random chatter. Mod check, any non-subs? Any lurkers? Any new followers? Wait, I just realized I'm an A. The prediction should be, what you are you with Edda Cooper? <laughs> Wait, hold. Oh, I wasted my mushrooms. I should have used them more sparingly. Damn. Okay, I don't see any non-subs redeeming, so it's gonna go to random chatter. Dude, Cooper got first. Screw that guy. Honestly. Dude, I've gifted you guys two subs today. This isn't fair. I should get, like, a prime sub or something. I stop it. Y'all are supposed to cheer me on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Anyway, Gamba's up. Go gamble, chatters. I mean, Gamba. <laughs> you guys are so silly. You guys are so silly. This is now Cooper's stream? No! What? It's processing? Oh my god, thank you for another gifted sub piece in art. You're very cool. Oh, went to Pride. They were in chat earlier. Hey, yo. Let's go. <laughs> Wagon. <laughs> Guys, I'm down 10 bucks. I need, like, a prime or something. 
<laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's in the budget. I got boomed. You know, if Mac really wanted to make me mad, they would use all 80,000 of their channel points to make me gift myself subs. That'd go crazy. Wait, save that for like a subathon though. But Bobo has so many badges. I know! Isn't it cool? I could, yeah. Don't don't actually do that, Mac, please. I have very limited funds in my bank account right now. And my credit card doesn't renew until the 24th. That counts for the subathon? Yeah, I guess. Because when did I do my subathon? It was August. It was, dude, fuck, that was August, man. But I think I gifted, I gifted myself 11, because I think I got a total of like 30 subs for that stream. So I literally gifted myself a third of the subs gained during the subathon. <laughs> yeah, subathon would go crazy. I mean, next one is not going to be till next August, so chatters, don't get all excited just yet. Dude, this race has been ass. I've been in last. Does anybody think I can get first? Type 1? <laughs> Dude, imagine. Are you asking if I do a subathon, I'm gonna match the gifted subs? No, cause that'd be crazy. Imagine, imagine, we somehow get an actual Euler. Cause what happens when you do a subathon is sometimes you get like random chatters come in and just drop gifted subs or bits for fun. Cause they know what a subathon is. So imagine, I am blessed. I am blessed with a random new follower who gifts like 20 subs. I'd be fucked. <laughs> I'd be fucked. <laughs> like, I would never match donations. I would never. Unless it's for a charity stream. I would never match. Ooh, 200 CC? Chatters, this is our last race of the day. So, this is your last chance to gamba. Last chance to earn medallions. We're gonna switch gears to Animal Crossing after this race. Unless... <laughs> Yeah, I'd only be able to match gifted subs if I myself was, like, a middle-class civilian. Not a millionaire, because I think upper-middle-class could afford it. Isn't it kind of crazy how, like, upper-middle-class is, like, people who make, like, a 200,000 a year? Ooh, I love 200cc online! Ooh, can, should, can we please, can we pretty please do 200cc for the tournament this month? Please, guys, I think it'd be very fun! A million followers win? Never. It would take a very long time. Dude, both of the red shells got boomed. I mean, I did say when I hit a million followers, then I'll do a Mario cosplay on stream. Wowie. You like the Animal Crossing kind of stream, really? I'm glad to hear that. Fuck! Dude, I messed up that line. Why am I getting a blue shell in sixth place? Dude, I'm in ninth? Dude, 200cc goes crazy. Did any Oilers come in for the subathon? No. The only people who donated were regular chatters. Shoutouts to... I actually... I can show you guys the wallpaper we made. I have it out on my couch. During the ad break, I'll show you guys. Okay, sixth place. Not too bad. Fuck.
Dude, 200 CC goes crazy! Dude, I was close to top 3! I was close! I was very close. Damn, that was crazy! I love 200 CC online. 200 CC is hard though, but it's so much fun! So much fun. Okay, chatters, you know what else is fun? Having to run ads. Actually, it's not very fun. But if you want to avoid those ads, all you got to do is subscribe. $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get app reviewing all month long. Or if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account, you can hashtag sub for free with Prime every month. Click the subscribe button and see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, after the ad, we're going to switch gears to Animal Crossing. So, okay, Nix, welcome in. Huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Nyx always, like, walks into the chat room with banger messages. <laughs> okay, okay. After the ad, we're gonna switch gears to Animal Crossing, so it's more chill, more just chatting vibes, so more like AMA, you know, talk to me, I talk to chat, you talk to each other. Cool shit. But, if you do have to watch an ad, no problem. I just uploaded a new TikTok. Go like it, go leave a comment, I'd appreciate it. Anyway, go get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you chatters in a few. Yeah, I'm never getting a piercing. Never, ever. Okay, I'll show you guys the wallpaper. Okay, the wallpaper got a little bit crumpled. It got crumpled because I didn't put it in a tube. So, I did a subathon for my one year anniversary stream. This was, dude, it's so fucked up. <laughs> so, this was back in August. So, I drew this wowie. We had Coax, Issa, Vic. Titans, Foolish, Foolish with some Emmys chat, and then Mac donate during that stream. There we go. Wowie. Shoutouts to the Oilers. I think Mac gifted like a total of 12 or something that stream. Mac kind of popped off. Okay, I gotta change up the game now. Now I'm more sad I missed it. It's okay. We'll do it next year. I mean, we didn't do anything, like, too crazy for the subathon, though. Because I told myself I don't want to do anything too gimmicky for planned streams. Oh, I forgot to talk about it earlier. Also, while the game is loading, if everybody watching could go follow my art channel. It is peacein underscore art. If you're watching on desktop, click the follow button here. If you're watching on mobile, please, everybody who's watching, go follow, go follow. It's hashtag free to follow. Please. Please. We're so close to affiliate. All I need is 50 followers. So go follow. It's free. <laughs> She's lying. She went for 24 hours. Did imagine. I would literally die. The Kirby Cupcakes. Yeah, that was the Kirby Cupcake stream, wasn't it? Anyway, chatters, go follow. Please go follow. Hashtag free to follow. Okay, now we gotta think of a banger title. Banger title, guys. Wait, I had... I had, like, a really clickbaity one in mind. Hmm. Peace, I, to Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. This one's gonna go crazy. This one's gonna go crazy. Are you guys ready? You guys are not ready. <laughs> Dude, I'm farming. I'm farming. <laughs> I just noticed the wallpaper. Yeah, it's bumpkins. Wow. Guys, what do you think of my title? Is it good? Is it good? Uh, we're not having people visit the island today, but in the future, another time. I think the next time we'll have people come over is Halloween. Halloween! Okay, this turn sub goes off. Kind of cringe. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't want to farm that. Guys, what do you think of my title? Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. So next week, we're not doing gaming. Next week, I'm still working on a title, but we're going to be doing Halloween stuff. I think I'm going to title it Wicked Week. Like, you know, like, you know, a wicked, you know, the glasses, wicked. Shut up, hacker. We're farming. We're farming. I can't leak what I have to say just yet. We're, we're farming. It's going to be Wicked Week. Like, you know, wicked, like witches like wicked week and then wicked like you know the emote you can see the emote here wicked week so on tuesday we're gonna be ranking halloween candy on wednesday we're gonna be decorating pumpkins and thursday we're gonna play a game a very scary game a very scary game yeah we'll have people come to the island later in the month but not today not today. Because I only want people to come to the island when I have something planned, you know? Okay. What game? I'm not going to say. It's just a very scary game. Scary like ghosts? Maybe. Maybe. Hi, Rainy. Welcome in. Hope we're doing well today, huh? Can we get some peace I to yo's for rainy? A good streamer friend. Not a fake bitch like the other people. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, wait, no. It's not that I... Oh, wait, fuck. No, I'm not kidding. No, I, I messed up. I'm sorry. I was trolling. I was trolling. Pity. No, 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 no. I, I, I messed up. <laughs> no, guys, I'm farming. I'm farming! Right now! <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. Peace I do. Looks at what? <laughs> Looks at what? Okay. I can't, I can't stop smiling. You're going off today? No, I'm not, I'm not. Imagine I changed the title to... No I, <laughs> I'm obviously farming with the tattoo. Stop, stop, guys. I can't, I can't. Guys, I'm trolling. You guys know, if something did happen to me, I wouldn't speak up about it. I wouldn't keep shit to myself. If anybody ever harasses me, I will say names. I don't give a fuck. I have no audience. I don't care. I didn't change my secret command. Should I change it? Megan plays Five Nights at Freddy's real? No, I ain't never playing FNAF. The FNAF fandom is so toxic. And it's literal children. I feel like the only people who watch FNAF streams are children. And I don't want children in my chat. Chatters, you are all 13 plus. Of course you are. But I don't want any children. <clears throat> okay, enough farming. Let's play Animal Crossing. Wait, did I run an ad? Any non-subs? Did I actually... I Wait, did I run an ad? I did run an ad, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Hi, Bora, welcome in. <laughs> Clueless. We're running well today, on. <laughs> Guys, okay, okay. No stalling. We're done stalling. People are back from the ad now. It's been 10 minutes. Hopefully they're back. Okay. Right now on Tiblin, it is 1.09 p.m. on Tuesday, October 18th, 2022. Wait, this was the thing I was going to tell you guys, too. And now for today's announcements. Tomorrow, Tiblin bids a fond farewell to our dear friend, Kevin. People sad by Kevin. It's hard to say goodbye, but we wish him luck on his next big adventure. Be sure to stop by for one last chat before he leaves. Maybe bring some tissues. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. So chatters, you know the drill. When somebody leaves, we're gonna do an aurora hunting stream so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow we're gonna put e oh i also moved my house isn't the cute wow okay so tomorrow instead of doing easter we're gonna do a long ass aurora hunting stream stream ends when we find aurora
Yeah, dude, Vora, I was literally in a very similar situation. Like, I was working two jobs. I essentially had three jobs at one point, because I was doing... I was at pizza, and then I was at another fast food place, but I was working at two locations. I think it's important, like, money is nice, but also know your limits. Like, you know, you can't be spending your whole life working. So if you can afford to, like, drop one of your jobs, fucking quit. It's not worth your mental strain. <clears throat> is it phasmophobia? Maybe. I don't know. Aurora asked to come to your island, but it's full? How could you deny her? Kind of rude, not gonna lie. Ooh. Aurora Borealis. No, no, no. That's not it. I did have... Oh, I didn't have shooting stars the other night, but I almost did. I thought I did. What was the girl? Or the owl who comes to your island? Celeste? Is that it? She came to my island. The other night. I'm so close to Twitter draft. How many more points do you need, Rainy? You have an Aurora Amiibo card? Dude, if I get a P.O. box, send that shit to me. 2k away? Damn, that's quite a bit of ways, Rainy. That's your car's name? Why would you name your car? I think it's kind of weird. I haven't seen a black version of this lantern. Okay. Wait. Wait, I need to farm for a clip. Wait, I need to buy candy. Fuck. Let's do a cam and I'll put 2k points. The yeah, actually. But in order for Rainy to gain 2k points, she has to gamba at least 2k. Because it's like a markup, you know. Anyway, what was I going to say? You know what? What? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Thank you for redeeming, hacker. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, chatters. If you're new here... Chatters can use their channel points and they can make me tweet a draft. And you guys get to vote which type of draft I will post. Because I have like funny ones, I got edgy ones, I have way too boast, way too based ones. Let's see. Let's see what drafts I have queued up. My sub expires in two days? Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, post all the drafts? No, I ain't doing that shit. Okay, we're gonna run a poll. We're gonna Pokemon go to the polls. I'm gonna choose... Okay, do you guys want a based tweet? Or do you want kind of an, not an edgy joke, but it's kind of like an edgy comment. Like, like, it's not, okay, it's not, it's more like a, like, commentary joke. You guys have one minute to vote. Yeah, Rainy's lurking, I think. Chatters, Pokemon go to the polls. Pokemon go to the polls. Do you guys want a based Post or an edgier joke? It's not who edgy edgy, but Pokemon go to the polls. Pokemon go to the polls. Vote, vote, vote. You should have my credit right and Pokemon go to the polls. If I don't see a million votes, then this is fake news. Stop the steal. <laughs> edgy joke. The edgy joke is good. It's good. It's not like commentary, but it's good. Nobody wants the base tweet. Come on. Let me make a good lefty based tweet. I want to be a political commentator one day. Dude, imagine. <laughs> we want to laugh. No laughing. 
Wait, 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 wait. You know, wait. You guys know the Keck weight emote? Oh, edgy joke. Okay. You know when it's like I've seen Keck weight versions where he's like laughing and then it's like. Yeah, you can only redeem one drop per stream, you goof. Yeah, Meg phone streamer. Okay, guys. You guys voted for the edgier joke. <laughs> okay, I. <laughs> It's good. It's good. I, I'm looking at it. It's a bit too wordy. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I'm okay. I would like to say I'm not calling it to be out. I'm just making jokes. I'm making jokes. Okay. If you guys want to see this tweet. Um, go follow me on Twitter. You can like it, go retweet it, go reply to it. Okay, get ready. It's gonna drop. It's gonna drop right now. <laughs> it's posted! I'm not gonna show it on stream. If you want to see it, you have to follow my Twitter. If I don't see a million new followers, I'm never streaming again. Okay, if you want to see it, go follow my Twitter. Go like it, go retweet it. It's a good one, it's a good one. That's so true, though. I know, so true. So real and true. Wait, I want to see a rainy laughs. I want to... You do... Shut up. Don't, don't leak what the joke is. Don't leak what the joke is. Don't leak what the joke is. <laughs> Very true. Is there any game music playing? Oh, it is. It's very soft. Very soft. Okay, what should we do today? Oh, I have my witch fit on. It's basically Cinderella, but with a witch's hat. <clears throat> Wait, I was gonna say something and then we got interrupted. Oh, we were gonna talk about naming your car. <laughs> Too controversial? No, it's true. You know my go-to saying, controversial but true. <laughs> what? I did not say that, Nyx. I did not say that. <laughs> I did not say that. All the FPS men are running. I know. I know. Isn't it good, Rady? It was good. I had that random thought the other, or like a while ago. I was like, oh, this is going to be a banger. It's going to be a banger. She said, what? I don't know. I hope they know it's a joke. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Should I leak what it is? Should I leak what it is? I'm going to leak. It's been five minutes. You guys should have seen it by now. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Guys, I'm hilarious. <laughs> the replies, the replies. <laughs> I can't. No, Hassan plays Valorant on stream now. I watched him play last night with Myth. <laughs> Dude, Rady, you replied to it four times. You're crazy. Can I redeem something that makes you whisper me a joke? No, I don't want to talk to chatters. Weird. Weird. Okay. Let me turn up my brightness so you guys can see. Okay, headcanon. Any streamer who refuses to play FPS on stream says gamer words in private and they're scared one will slip during a live. <gasps> <laughs> it's so good. It's so good, dude. Low mouth. Low mouth. Low mouth. Dude, Rainy's a gem. Rainy's a gem. She's got so many bangers. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Y'all are too good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm liking the replies. <laughs> Dude, I hope people know I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Unless... 
I mean, honestly, I think there's somewhat a bit of truth to it. I don't, I don't play FPS at all. So, and I don't say slurs at all. But. <clears throat> yeah. That was the joke. I think it was a very good joke. Um, type one if you think that was a good joke. <laughs> Never look at my Twitter profile. Uh, who was it? Which chatter said it? Whenever I get a new follower on Twitter, I automatically look at their profile. I just do that by default. So some of y'all are sus. It's based, kind of, in my opinion. I agree. Oh, way too based. Wait, what were- Wait, I keep- I keep getting interrupted. Oh, we were talking about naming your car. <laughs> anyway. I think it's kind of silly when people name their cars. Oh my god, like, one of the cliche jokes, naming your tractor Bessie or something. Like, that's always a good one. I think it's kind of weird, though, like, humanizing inanimate objects. Isn't that kind of childish, if you think about it? A little bit weird in my opinion. <clears throat> I think I've always been more of a serious person. Like, even when I was younger, I wasn't too imaginative. I always took things... I was gonna say, I wasn't a wholesome child, but I guess I was kind of wholesome, but I wasn't, like, the type to play around. <clears throat> it's just like naming a stuffed animal? No, but it's weird! Like, you know there's jokes where like, oh, I got inside Susan my car. Or I, I went inside Susan last night. <laughs> like, there's obvious jokes you can make. You're weird, you know I am. <laughs> no one says that? No, I feel like that'd be a joke that like SNL would make. Or some cringe YouTube sketch comedian would make. I just say Toyota. We used to have a Toyota. It was a really good car. I think Japanese cars are pretty solid. <laughs> SNL are the even jokes. Ah! Controversial, but true. I think we need to make a list of all my catchphrases. Because I think the one I say the most often is controversial, but true. I think holy is going to be another one. <clears throat> I can't... <laughs> What do I- what do I say all the time? There's gotta be something else. Okay, I think holy is the funniest. No, I do not want to hang out. I know it's raining, but I don't want you to come over. Yeah, you- you stole a crown. You stole a crown for me! Because I think it was Crystal who purposely brought a gold rose crown to my island and said, Yes, I can give that to you, Megan, as a present. And then you stole it from me. From me. Not just from somebody. It was me. <laughs> Sag. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. Crystal wasn't mad. You say cr I do say cringe a lot. I do. Rainy can vouch for that. <laughs> oh, big fish. Hey, yo. Can we get a don't clip that compilation? Somebody make it. Somebody make it. <laughs> I would love if Megan ever gets rich and famous and can afford an editor. I would love somebody to, like, make a meme account on Twitter. And it's just, like, memes or clips from stream. I think that'd be funny. <laughs> Because I don't think I'll ever tell people to, like, go on your own and make edits for me. I think that's kind of weird. I will edit. Do you actually know how to edit, though? Wait, meme again? Wait, me... Meme again. Meme again? How, how would you say that? Is it meme again or meme again? Meme again. Meme again. Meme again? <laughs> Then that's just making fun of my stutters, not my Megan. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> I feel like that's how a lot of like editors 
get hired for like youtubers or streamers is they just start making like fan edits and then their work is like really good and then they just do like freelance or meme again meme again <laughs> it's so fun to say meme again oh, my inventory is almost full I used to make fan edits, but they were awful. What did you make fan edits of, though? <gasps> Wait, a manga library wall? Dude, they're farming the weebs. <clears throat> Wait, I need to see what manga is on our wall. Wait. I have to make sure the manga is kid-friendly. Hold. <laughs> oh. It's lame. I feel like people's manga collection is kind of sus. When I did- You know what was weird? Um, uh, how can I say this <laughs> in a nice way? When I went to Japan, some of the 7-Elevens, they would sell, like, explicit, like, manga in the 7-Eleven. Isn't that kind of crazy? And I remember when I went to one of the 7-Elevens, there was a guy just, like, flipping through it. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, holy... I mean, no shame in reading such material. I just thought it was weird that they were selling it in a 7-Eleven, a convenience store. 7-Eleven is supposed to be friend kid-friendly. I know, it's kind of weird. <clears throat> I mean, of course it was in the back of the store, obviously. I'm all for, like, people being positive in their identity and their sexuality. But I think there's, like, you can't be too open about it, you know? You used to make TikTok videos about Xbox 360 games? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh my god, did anybody else try to make, like, YouTube videos when they were a kid? I feel like kids making videos of themselves is such a gem. I wish I would have done that when I was younger. They'd probably be cringe as frick. Oh my god, I just remember my sister. Um, she wanted to make, like, Barbie videos. So we would make, like, little Barbie houses and sets in our rooms. And we would film on, like, our mom's cell phone videos. But we didn't know how to edit, so we never posted them. But we would basically do, like, a soap opera with our Barbies. <laughs> but that was as far as we did. I used to watch those Barbie videos. I know, me and my sister would too. <laughs> Dude, it's so cringe. I was talking to my sister and um, <clears throat> what she wants to do, because she likes to collect dolls and figurines. Um, I was telling her, I was like, you know, you should learn, because she knows how to do basic sewing and shit. Um, so I was telling her, I was like, you should like make your own patterns and make like Barbie doll clothes. I feel like that would do well. Especially on like TikTok and stuff where there's like a lot of kids who would be like, oh my god, mommy, mommy, let me use your credit card so I can buy like $50 worth of Barbie clothes. I don't know, but she doesn't have time because she has like, you know, a real job. Because <clears throat> she recently bought all these kits to wear. You know how when you put Barbie doll hair and you gotta put it in with like a pin? So she has all those tools, so she's practicing. You would make stop motion videos? No way. Stop motion is so difficult. I remember my teacher in high school was like, if you want to learn animation, you should just do stop motion first. And I was like, yeah, but it's a bit too time consuming. You made videos with your cousins using the Mario figures? <laughs> Wait, you mean like a game show with the <laughs> That's so cute. <clears throat> okay, I think we can go on an abandoned island trip really quick. I'm not sad at all that Kevin is leaving.
You know, Kevin was mid. I don't like the athletic villagers. I think they're annoying and ego. Wait, do only the athletic villagers give you DIYs? No way. That's not right. Or do certain personalities give you certain recipes? I think in order to get Kiki on your island, you can talk to Isabel and she will tell you what specific things you need to work on. Like whether it be like getting rid of weeds or like decorating more, getting more decorate or decorating more. So you just need to talk to Isabel, I believe. You need one of every villager for every DIY? Huh? Yeah, I think I was able to get KK after like a month or two on stream. Because back when I played Animal Crossing for the first time on this save, I didn't play off stream. So I, it took me maybe like 20 hours? Okay, Meg phone streamer for a second! Make phone sure. <clears throat> Did everybody apply for their student loan debt relief? It's really easy. Wait, I should make a command for that. Because since I got a parent plus loan through my dad, he had to file separately. So any chatters, if you applied for any student loans previous to, I think it was July of 2022. Those are the, um, because people can receive up to 20,000. And if you applied for like a parent plus, your parent can get up to 10,000 relieved. You pay out of pocket? Huh? What? That's crazy. Ah, uh, should I save it? Oh, because a lot of you guys did college recently, huh? Oh, well, I have like four years of college debt that I have to pay off. So I have a bigger handful than most. Calm down, I think I'll Um. You can maybe talk to your school counselor, which would be the better route to take. Because you can only apply up until December 31st. Your cost per semester is less than 3k? Well, I went to- I'm going to a silly private college. Yeah, um, next- oh, okay, Chatters, if you- <laughs> I would say talk to your financial counselor or advisor at your school to see which is better for you. I mean, you, like I said, you can get up to 20000 in relief. For any loans previous to this year. So, like, this even goes for, like, people who are, like, 40, 50 years old. If you still have student debt, you can still apply. Because I literally applied in like two minutes. It was easy. Because I think my tuition for the program is a total of 60000 Crazy. For a silly little art degree, mind you. Or it's an art computer science degree, technically, because it's for graphic design. But I got like 20000 in Pell Grants. And then the rest are... Like, private but federal loans. So I got a good handful, ch like, a good chunk paid off if I can fully get the 20,000.
Oh, I see, Mac. Well, my family is poor, poor as fuck, so. <laughs> <laughs> My friend is super stressed about our art grades, but I feel like our classes are more for the experience than the grades. Um, I mean, obviously, like, their grade affects their, like, GPU. Or, not GPU. GPA. <laughs> Dude, I'm perpetually online. So I can see why they'd be stressed about it, but then... I feel like art classes are hard. Because I feel like, out of most professors... The art teachers are the most aggro in terms of grading. Because it doesn't matter how creative you are, it doesn't matter like how good your ideas are. As long as you follow the instructions of the project, that dictates your grade. Like, you know how they have like beginner's art classes and like people's artwork looks like shit? Um, that's because obviously they're beginners, but... Dude, imagine being middle class. Can't relate. Dude, we've been poor our whole lives. I was looking at this one article and it was saying like, <clears throat> the average cost to raise a child in the current times is like 200,000 up until they're 18. And like, no shot my parents made that much money. Like, no way. Like, it maybe cost them like 100,000 if even to raise both my sister and I. Like, it's kind of wild to think it costs that much to raise a child. Like, spending 200000 on a child, they must be spoiled as frick. Because, like, the article that I read, it didn't say that it included the cost of college. Middle class is weird because the government thinks we can afford everything, but in reality we struggle because of the exp ex I know. I hate. I hate. How? The middle class is put in a different tax bracket. Because even if they make more money, they are essentially taxed more. So their, like, income still isn't sufficient enough. Like, there was one year, this was the year um, I was working three jobs, so I made, like, $45,000 that year. Working, like, 70 hour weeks. And I had to pay, like, a thousand in taxes. Because the tax bracket for my state, in order to, like, stay at, like, poverty wages, it's, like, 42000 So because I made 2000 more and got into that higher tax bracket, I had to pay more taxes. And that's the reality of people who are in middle class. So people who are making livable wages, like, more than minimum, but they still are taxed more. So they're still put in the same situation to where... In terms of like how much money they actually keep is at the same level as it is for like people who are at the poverty level. Yeah, exactly. The middle class suffers a lot because, like you said, a lot of them aren't eligible for like um, state medical insurance, government assistance, but they are still. It's. The system is broken, and the only way to fix the system is to cross your fingers and hope and pray people who will advocate for the actual working class people get elected into office. So, Chatters, if you are 18, vote in the midterms. Vote for every single election. Vote for your local officials. Try and be active in your local city engagements. Because the most activism and the action you will see is in your local city governments. A lot of people just vote during the presidential election, but that is not enough. Obviously, the president does not have power over everything. So make sure you're voting in every single election. I know it's very easy to say voting doesn't matter, but voting very much so matters more so in your local elections. Thank you for the lurk, hacker. <laughs> base base, yeah. Megan's- I, I only have base takes. <laughs> I, have I ever had a bad take? <laughs> Somebody roll the clip. <laughs>
I think it's also a lot of fun to vote in the local elections because a lot of the times for like the local ones I know for my state they don't necessarily um, send out like a what would you call it it's like the little booklet explaining all the different like people who are up for election but they usually don't send that booklet out for <laughs> the smaller local elections so what me and my sister will do we will go to like all the elected or the possibly elected officials like websites to see their platforms and stuff and you see some wild takes you see some crazy ones because like washington fuck i messed up the fish washington is pretty progressive i mean still we could do things a little bit better but definitely i think one of the better states to live in if you're a fucking lefty um i know <laughs> Some parts of Washington are definitely more right and more libtard than others, but Washington as a whole is pretty, pretty good, okay? Pretty good. But some of the people who run under the Republican Party are crazy. Some of their platforms are, like, alluding to, like, QAnon or, like, far-right extremist rhetoric, and it's crazy because it's on, like, their public website. And me and my sister are reading through them like, oh my god, how can they, they're, they're like, it's crazy, it's crazy. Anybody new, I'm a fucking lefty, I'm a progressive, I don't talk about it often, but I will always advocate for people who are lesser, for people who are disabled, for people who are homeless, because you never know if you yourself will be in that situation, so it's important to advocate the people who have less resources than you do. Because that's what the country is supposed to do. They're supposed to take care of their civilians. Anyway, it's, some of the campaign websites are crazy. Crazy. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair up. I don't like it down anymore. Yeah, I think everybody should have equal access to medical procedures. Because a lot of people think abortion is, like, in the later terms. But a lot of the times it's due to miscarriage. And what happens if they don't get the procedure done, it's going to hurt their health more so. I've seen some of the ad campaigns that both the left and right are running. But I think, I think... The ad campaigns where they like attack each other are so funny because a lot of I think politicians in general they're all rooted in hypocrisy, but um, <laughs> like fuck, what was his name? Like uh, Christian Walker's dad. What what's his fucking name? He's running in to what state? I I just watch the song streams. Okay, I don't know all the ins and outs of like local state elections, but. I think there's a lot of, there's a lot of funny stuff, and the problem with, like, sensationalist media and platforms is that people who aren't educated will side with the party who's more exciting or enticing or just use talking points based on fallacy. <clears throat> I can never side with a Republican. I think it's very hard to. I think the funniest thing about the Republican platform is that they say they're for the working class, they say they're for the middle class, but in actuality, their policies don't support or help the working class, like how they're anti-union, how they're anti-human like human rights. People will believe politicians at surface level but never hold them accountable for the policies that they actually pass or advocate for. I mean, the left isn't all that good either, but... At least the left is giving us student debt relief! Give us something. Anyway, and that's talking about politics, guys. I don't want to scare people. I'm on a socialism type beat. I know. Me too, man.
It's a, it hasn't rained in the game in a long time. It's very pretty. It also hasn't rained here in Washington in forever. We're known as the rainy state. It hasn't fucking rained in like two weeks. Because all these silly forest fires. Yeah, I haven't seen any like crazy forest fires in my area, but the closest I've seen is that sometimes like dry patches of grass will catch fire like that are like, you know, in the medium of a highway, it's either cement or like there's grass. I've seen like a tiny fire there, but nothing too out of control. Oh my god, their umbrella is so cute. That peach one. Oh my god. Your game's like California. I think it'd be cool if the weather mechanics in game matched your like weather IRL. But then it's also like, imagine you live somewhere where it's raining all the time, then it's just raining in game, and then your game is just as depressing as real life. So I guess it kind of makes sense that the weather doesn't match your IRL world. But I think it'd be cool. Because doesn't the sun set at the same time every day in game? Like, it's always golden hour at, like, 6 or 7-ish, I think. One of my favorite little touches in this game is how your footprints leave a trail in the sand. And look, it's fading! Look at that! It's such a nice touch. One of my key memories, the last time it snowed, I remember I looked outside, and we had like six inches of snow. And it's always nice to look outside after the snow falls, because like it's clean, nothing stepped in it, there's no cars. And we looked out the window in the garden, and there were just these little like cat paw prints in the snow. I'll have to find the picture. But it's so nice seeing what like passed through the area. Cause one thing that I thought was super cool, like you ever watch the videos of like hunters and they teach you like how to track animals? Like how they have you look for like steps in the dirt or like crumpled leaves or like broken twigs. Like learning those things I think is very cool. I don't know how much utility it has in, like, people who live in suburb areas, but it's still, like, nice to learn about how people lived before society, like, modernized a little bit. It might snow in Washington this week. In some, like, northern parts. Like, about two hours away from me, they're gonna get snow on Thursday, and it's like... Huh? Because I live in a valley, so we don't necessarily get snow often. Because the part of Washington that I live in is very hilly, so I happen to live in the valley. So like half of the town will get snow that's on top of the hill and then our half won't. But it's kind of nice because they'll cancel school because the people who live on the hill can't take the bus. So they just cancel school for everyone. God, my cat ran away when I was eight or so. I used to get excited when I saw footprints in the snow because I thought she was coming back to visit. No, no. See, that's what I'm genuinely kind of scared of. If I ever do get a cat, obviously it would be an inside cat, but then I feel kind of bad like keeping a pet locked up inside. But I'm so scared that like it'll get lost. Uh, my friend had like two cats run away. And, like, there was, like, a bunch of coyotes in the area. So, like, obviously... Not obviously, but probably they got eaten. So it's just like, damn. <laughs> I know if we do move into that new place, we can't have pets. But... 
I don't know. I really want a cat. I really want one. But it's not allowed. Sad you. I know we usually chop trees on stream, but I kind of want to fish since it's raining. You might get a rare one. <laughs> on our school laptops, kids would show each other their houses on Google Maps. I remember doing that shit too. Or like we would pull up each other's streets and try and get which house was theirs. I remember doing that. <laughs> cliche thing for kids to like not threaten but you can be like I'm gonna run away and you know how in cartoons they show the kid with like the stick and then like a handkerchief over their shoulder did anybody like actually do that even jokingly as a kid whenever you get like upset be like I'm gonna run away did anybody do that because I never did <laughs> I feel like it's such a silly thing to say I know my parents have, like, threatened to run away. <laughs> there's been a few times where, like, there's been arguments and my parents be like, Oh, we're gonna leave for a day and watch what happens when we're not here. But I never did that when I was younger. Like, our parents wouldn't let us play outside either because I grew up in the early 2000s. So I think that's kind of the time where parents became... Uh, how can you see it? Not more controlling. But kind of like more cautious on like what their kids are doing. Like my parents never let me like run around town unattended. Anytime we want to play outside be sitting like on the porch watching. I never got to walk to school alone until like the end of middle school even though it was like two blocks away. I ran away, went outside the front door into the backyard and hid. Hey yo! You know, you gotta troll a little bit. Gotta scare him. <laughs> One time, I hid in the woods and I cried and then it started raining. So it hid my tears. But I felt so edgy. That's actually kind of metal. That sounds like a villain origin story, honestly. <laughs> oh my god. I suck at fishing. I've never fished IRL and I don't have the desire to. One, I can't swim. And two, I feel like it'd be so boring. And I feel like with a lot of regulations, you can't necessarily keep the fish that you catch. I think you have to have certain permits, right? And I don't like the idea of catching fish only to put them back because I feel like the hooks still hurt them. Uh, I don't know, do they? I don't know. Somebody looked that up. Shatters, get on it. And no swimming gang. Hey, yo. I feel like swimming would be good for me, though. Like, good exercise. Because I've been doing my exercise game for the past few days, so I've been running, like, in place for, like, one to two miles every day, and then, like, uh, core exercises, aerobics, and that type of shit. But I feel like swimming would be good. But I'm also scared to swim. There was one time my friend took me to a pool, and they were trying to teach me how to swim, and I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I was too scared. So I just, I just like clog onto them the whole time. I was like, I can't do it. And of course it was a public pool. So there was like obviously kids like on the other side of the pool being obnoxious as fuck and like splashing so much water and like making it scarier. Are you a fish? Huh? No. I have a joke, but it's mean. <laughs> They can be fatal for the fish, really? Hmm. You can somewhat swim? That's good. Wish I could. I can float. I know how to float. So if I fall overboard, I just have to float and cross my fingers. Somebody helps me. 
The only person who knows how to swim in my house is my dad. But that's because he used to be in the Navy. And he used to be like a... Like, he worked on the boats. Like, he did, like, maintenance on the boats. And then he also was like a rescue... What's it called? Like, lifesaver? No. What are the people who sit on the beaches and, like, make sure people don't drown? Lifesavers? Is that it? Somebody, somebody, no, you guys know what it's called. Somebody tell what it's called. What is it called? Lifeguard! That's it! Thank you! I have lifesavers. <laughs> I mean, they are saving lives. Yeah, so anytime we'd go to the beach, my dad would be the guy to make sure none of us drowned. I was gonna say, imagine I drowned. <laughs> so stupid. Guys, I need to get new jokes. No original content here. Lifesavers are the candy, life preservers are the... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a life preserver on my island, actually. Let me show you. It's over here. Right there. Imagine I was a fish. None of y'all would know I existed. True. <laughs> Very true. Isn't it weird to think like there's whole different worlds that animals live in? Like anytime I see an ant hill, I always kind of stop and look at it because that's like a whole civilization that we don't even. Not that we're not aware of it, but we don't even think about. <laughs> If you ate me, that'd be okay. I mean, you'd be keeping me alive. A real simp would let me... Fuck, no. Let's think before I speak. <laughs> A real fan would be willing to let me do that, of course. That reminds me of the question, would you still love me if I were warm? Dude, I hate the people who ask that question. It's so stupid. The answer is, of course, no. Why would I love a worm? I would not be able to emotionally connect. I would not be able to make love, quote unquote, with a worm. The answer is no. I think people just ask that question to, like, drama farm and bait their partner into saying, I don't love you or something. And then they'll screenshot it and weaponize it against you when you guys are having an argument or something. Dude, that's the one thing I don't miss about being in a relationship. Like, all the sappy talk. Ugh! It's so gross. Okay, not that it's gross because it's kind of wholesome, but it's cringe. It's so cringe. Meg was in a relationship? Yeah, not anymore though, Lamau. I am on my incel arc. Obviously. Where'd that- oh, here it is, here it is. One shot? Two shot? Hey yo! Okay, editors, just cut out the part where I missed the first shot, okay? <laughs> Talking about cutting people out, chatters, we are another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. You can hashtag sub for free with Prime. Guys, click the subscribe button, see if you have a Prime sub available. I think we can go ahead and switch gears to you laugh you freaking lose you're not gonna want to miss it it's gonna be funny we're gonna laugh or you guys are gonna laugh i'm not gonna laugh because i'm not allowed to so stick around get some water get a snack we'll see some of you guys in a few 10 out of 10 because you made fun of the non-subs we always make fun of the non-subs we just we discriminate here
Okay, I'm changing my title. Hold shatters. Hold. You're allowed to. You just don't let yourself laugh? Exactly. I'm not allowed to. In my brain, I tell myself I'm not allowed to. Because I don't want to lose. Whenever Megan has actual money, we'll make the stakes. If I laugh, I gift a sub. Or every laugh, I gift a sub. When Megan has money, we'll do add those stakes. But I'm broke. So I can't do that right now. <laughs> okay. Getting it set up. Yeah, if I laugh, I gift a sub. I would love to do that, but I can't afford that right now. I had to gift you guys two fucking subs today. So, you know, you gotta pay your fair share back too, right? Oh, that was a weird sound. Okay, bye, Nix. We'll see you next time. Thank you for hanging out today, hon. We'll see you next time. People, bye. It's a pleasure as always. Hey, yo. Okay, I gotta change the scene. There we go. Okay, chatters. Did I unmute everything? Yes, I did. You guys know the rules? If I laugh, I end stream. If chat laughs, type one in chat and tell me what made you laugh. You guys ready? Oh. Should I try and do like a dead pan the whole time? Playing Minecraft. I like it, cut G. No, a double quarter pounder with just ketchup and cheese. Yeah. Dude, there's a fire in the kitchen! Uh, sweet and sour. I didn't laugh. I got close. <laughs> that was good, that was good. I better do it. Yeah, you'll do it. Do the next one, do the next one. <laughs> Wait, go on. Hey, yo. You got it, buddy. Wait, 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 hold on. No, bro. Wow. That's not all you want, man. Oh, no. Simba. Simba. Show me them legs. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh. So glad that I still get to be a part of that via you guys. It's my 15th year at the middle school, and I'm sure it will be. I thought she was going to fart. That would have been so much better. This is what my Cooking Mama streams are going to be like. Dude, the edit is so good, but it it's so dumb. <gasps> no. Dude, that's literally. 
so loud. What the what the fuck? Scripted. Bro. Okay, that was an edit. I, I got scared. <laughs> I seriously just broke it. I seriously just broke it. Dumbass. Seriously just broke it. Yeah, because you ran into a dumbass. What Sorry. I hate people like this. Right. Just because you wanted to be impatient. Everything fine? No. People are dumb. I hate humanity. What is that even? You busy tonight? <laughs> Sorry, I'm bobbing to the weekend song. <gasps> Oh, it's a snail. It's so cute. Why are you in the back? That was good. The guy like catcalling the goose is kind of funny. It's so bad, but it's good. Anybody laugh? Anybody get got? That was good. That was really good. Ah! Little mouth. I just forget. Uh, for some reason, my because I use Explorer to capture this tab, it doesn't capture, right? So I can't use, like, Explorer. Or, because I use Chrome. Hey, let's get some music on. Yep. Snails are cute, yeah. Slugs are icky, but snails are pretty good. Okay, just learn music. Okay, chatters. I can go ahead and wrap it up for today. Today! Uh, so if anybody wants, we didn't get any donations, which is fine, but if anybody wants to do calligraphy, you can use your channel points and I'll write your name for free, or you can donate. So if anybody wants to do calligraphy, you can redeem and we'll do it right now, really quick. Or really quick. You didn't get Gawker ones? Hey, yo, finally. So use your channel points, otherwise we're gonna end today. 
I'm moving my- I put my paintbrushes on the side table, so... We'll stall for 30 more seconds. If anybody else reading, we'll do calligraphy real quick. If not, then we'll end. Oh, I forgot! We're gonna go live for Cold to the Lamb shortly. So I'm probably gonna end and then do Cold to the Lamb. In like 30 minutes. Okay, nobody redeemed, which is fine. We'll do calligraphy next time. But chatters, I will be live again later tonight for Cult of the Lamb. So I'm probably like 30 minutes to an hour. But we are gonna raid out. We have somebody to raid, so do not leave the stream. Hang out. Make me go hang out in their chat until we do Cult of the Lamb. But before I go, if everybody could politely go follow my art channel. Everybody who's watching right now, go follow. Hashtag free to follow. If you want to see me do artwork like this, go follow. You can see me paint live. I think the next year will be on Friday. So go follow. I think this is a curvy compilation, but it does sound like Yoshi stuff, huh? Um, so go follow my art channel, please. Peace, I do pray, please. Um, and if y'all are real fans, you're gonna follow my so offline social medias. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow all three. It's free to follow. If you like the stream, then you'll like the offline content. You'll get to the Twitter draft that we posted earlier during the stream. So yeah, it is Kirby. As I, I'm trying to fix my stream music playlist to like find compilations that are just from games, cause like we realized the other day that we keep hearing the same goddamn songs over and over. So I, I fix the playlist. Okay, chatters. I think we get to raid out today. I will be live again later today, probably 30 minutes to an hour with Cold Lamb. But feel free and stay around for the raid. We're gonna head over to friend of the show, Scootish. We haven't. Scootish hasn't been live for a while, so if everybody the stream is over at Lama. We're gonna go live soon for a Cult of the Lamb, so Mac just have notifications turned on. Okay, anyway. Um our raid message is peace I to spin. Peace raid. Peace I to spin. So if you are a subscriber, you can copy and paste this message. But I'm trying I'm trying to copy and paste, but it's not working. Lomo. Oh, there we go. Okay, anyway, we're gonna raid. So I only raid out two people I know, so please be nice. Please be nice in Scootish chat. If you have my emotes, or if you have Scootish emotes, type them in this chat room. Um. And peace, I too. Peace. So we're gonna head over to Scootish. Like I said, I'll be live again later tonight with Cult of Lamb, so follow my Twitter. That way you get notified when that goes live. Anyway. Stay in the raid. You get channel points. You get channel points. Holy. You get 200 channel points if you stay in the raid. Anyway, once again, thank you to everybody who hung out today. Thank you. We had some good conversations. Thank you, everybody who watched, chatted, lurked. Thank you to Peace and Art for gifting two fucking subs. You're crazy. <laughs> anyway, I'll see some of you guys later tonight for Cult of the Lamb. Bonus of only screen. Stream. Make sure you have notifications turned on. And you're following my Twitter. That way you can notify when that... That's <laughs> that way you can notify when that goes live. Also... I'll be live tomorrow, 11 a.m. PC with Animal Crossing. Stream Man's Living Finder Aurora. Peace and 2 Pray We Finder. Okay, anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye!